in surge there are uh, some special requirements for the uh, components and there's also special components for surge control which we'll uh, discuss in another presentation but in this presentation we want to uh, just point out what are what are some of the additional uh, data requirements and capabilities uh, for various components in surge now for pumps uh, of course we can have pumps described by a head flow table uh, these pumps can have only uh, uh, one connection to the suction side and one to the discharge side or they can be connected directly to a reservoir and only have one connection to the other side now pumps can have uh, check valves just an ordinary check valve that will prevent flow reversal they can have a non reopening check valve which will allow the check valve to activate just once and then it stays shut and a bypass line which would allow flow to bypass the pump if the suction pressure exceeds the discharge pressure and uh, in order to specify these devices we check these boxes and provide the corresponding data uh, in the location shown uh, for transient modeling uh, we should not use constant power pumps we don't have the characteristics that we need to relate the speed to the operating conditions and therefore these types of, uh, of uh, devices are not appropriate for transient modeling uh, if we have a head flow pump uh, I mean excuse me a, a pump uh, described by rated head and flow uh, as this is given we internally the uh, program generates an additional point a cutoff head and a uh, point at 1.5 times the rated flow and fits the curve through it so the same uh, procedure applies to this pump as it does for the head flow uh, table we can have a check valve, non-reopening check valve, and a bypass line. And if we check those boxes, we need to provide the, the same data. Uh, a pump description which is primarily available for transient analysis is using the uh, Hollander data files, which is the uh, which are the dynamic head flow characteristics, and we have a, a, a total of eight files, one through eight and we can select which file it is there's some help online to do that based on the uh, specific speed the rated conditions rated head rated flow inertia and speed and again these pumps can have a, a check valve to prevent flow reversal a non reopening check valve and a bypass line uh, the difference between this pump and a head flow pump is because it uses let's look at the next slide it uses these dynamic characteristics which uh, give you torque and head versus uh, speed and flow uh, we can calculate the rundown time so we can actually uh, look at what happens when the uh, power fails to the pump and the pump trips and uh, if we have uh, uh, loss elements uh, these basically uh, can be handled in transient flow uh, and the loss will be uh, based on the uh, curve described by this data uh, we can't change any of the characteristics of the loss element throughout the transient uh, uh, active valves uh, again the active valve is a, is a uh, uh, device that's principally uh, uh, utilized for some transient flow uh, we can uh, change the uh, open ratio of this uh, either the uh, stem position or the effective areas and uh, uh, there's a description here basically uh, talking about the uh, the open ratio uh, this is what we mean uh, this is the effective area through the valve versus the stem position for various valves now this technology is incorporated in the surge 2000 so we if we say that the valve is the stem has moved 50 percent we can go up on this these curves or these functions that are built in and see what the effective open area of the valve is so that's calculated within the program uh, we can also handle 
uh, pressure reducing valves, uh, regulating valves. These are all handled the same way. The steady state condition uh, is, or the steady state calculations are made, and then the resistance of the valve is calculated based on the steady state condition, and a constant resistance is used. And that's true for a pressure reducing valve. It's true for a pressure sustaining valve, exactly the same thing. Uh, whatever the pressure drop is in the flow, we'll calculate the resistance and utilize that resistance. And a flow control valve works the same way. There'll be a pressure drop, flow will be the setting, and uh, that gives us the resistance to use in the transient analysis. Uh, sprinkler heads are basically devices that uh, uh, model a uh, pressure sensitive outflow and uh, these can be modeled in transients. Uh, there can be a connection that can also be modeled in the transient analysis. Uh, these devices will remain at a constant resistance throughout the transient. Uh, if you want a situation where the resistance changes, the, this should be modeled as an active valve and not as a sprinkler.